Hi, so um, someone had requested me to show them my retainers after my upper and lower jaw surgery. Um, so here it goes. Um, today I had my orthodontist appointment and I have three retainers. I have my permanent retainers, which is like a wire that goes behind the front and the bottom teeth. Only like, it's behind my first four teeth and my bottom one, two, three. Like six teeth. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's really hard to see. Right here. And then behind the front teeth. You probably didn't see them, but um, my next one is my clear retainers that my doctor told me to never wear. Um, he said they're only for if my teeth move. Um, it's easier for them to adjust them, and I guess that's how they move your teeth if they do move them. Um, this is what they look like. And they fit right in. Um, I'm not going to put them in because I just don't want them to get all gross and slimy, but I have an upper and lower one. It kind of looks like, I don't know if anyone has seen Invisalign or just a clear retainer, but that's what it looks like. Um, let's see if you can... There's my nice bite. This is the bottom teeth, and this is the upper teeth. Um, so I have my permanent, my clear ones um, for if my teeth move, and then another one that the other one that I have is um, it's a tongue thrust um, because I talk with my tongue behind my teeth, and that's something that people do when they're little, um, and I just never grew out of the habit, and they don't want me to. Um, what happened was, is I talked behind my front, to my front teeth, so um, my tongue muscles just get stronger and stronger, and um, I push on my front teeth when I talk, so it moves my teeth forward, and they don't want me to have an open bite again, so um, here's the retainer. It only, you can only see it on the back teeth. Um, if you can see that hole right there, that's where my tongue has to, he said, my doctor said that, um, I need to keep my tongue um, like towards the hole, like make sure that my tongue stays towards that hole. So here is the back part. It, this is it upside down, so it will go like this, and you can tell where my tongue has to stay behind. So I keep my tongue towards that hole on the inside, and this is what it looks like. Oh, now I can't really talk very well. Right here, you can see it. You can, I can talk. Uh, so I keep it right here, in that hole. So what I was trying to say is you can't even see it. Um, Next year has my name on it, which is cool. Um, and it's just clear, um, nothing really. Um, I just think it's cool how they have the tongue thrust thing. Um, and I'm supposed to wear them for two straight weeks, and then I wear them just at night. Um, but I asked him if I could not wear it during work because I, and my sales are up, so I try to sell things, and it's a lot of talking, and I can't talk for the life of me in that, so. So I have the tongue thrust retainer that I wear for two weeks, um, except for when I'm at work. And then I will go to only wearing that night. And then I have the clear ones that are back up. I'm go I go back to the orthodontist in a month. And if my teeth move, then he'll use the clear retainers to fix that. Um, and then I have the permanent retainers. Um, so that's about it. Um, this is probably going to be my last video until my one year update. So I had an open, open bite, uh, they fixed my upper and lower, um, they broke my jaw into six pieces, and I only have little scars, and I'm still numb in the bottom lip and on my chin, but this is my side profile. I didn't even have a chin before, so that's about it. So. Um, if you have any more requests, let me know, and I hope that whoever is going through the surgery, good luck, and I will respond if you need anything, if you want me to 
comment or um, like someone had asked, I did do a video about the retainers, so. Alright.